Let me show you how to do a tutorial for um, Roblox Studio. So go to Start All Programs, find Roblox, and then Roblox Studio. This is the absolute beginner's guide, and I'm just going to show you how to make a base plate reset tool. And uh, go to File New. And um, a simple two story building with the window. Just let this load. So when you're here, go to insert. Give it a second for everything to load. There it goes. Insert. Pick one of these base plates. I just recommend starting with this one. Zoom out. There's not really a, there is a limit, but the limit's pretty big of how big you can make these. So I'm just gonna make it like this. I'm on a long and somewhat skinny place. In case you don't know, in Roblox Studio, you use the arrow keys to move around, and then you right click and use that, and uh, you r hold right click on your mouse, and you just drag the mouse in the direction you want to move. So once you get this, go to over here, go to Game Objects, and then put this gray neutral spawn. Come here. And oops, I forgot something. You can put respond and rewind. When you do this, you want to come over here and make sure that all three of these is check marked. You could also use these right here. This is anchor and this is lock. This way it don't fall off the sky and lock this so you can't select it. Now when I click off, I can't click it. To click it again, you need to click this and unlock it. But we're going to keep it locked. This thing I recommend, that means it's anchored. And actually that starts out anchored, but if it's not anchored, it'll show that. Okay, and so we did that. Now we're going to make a reset tool, and this is really simple. Just go to free models. Put in reset tool and hit enter. And it's the second one, or who knows what it could be. Just look for something that says reset tool, and then once you get it, oh yeah, make sure it's in starter pack. If you you might need to hit starter pack, otherwise it may go to the wrong place. I just got lucky and it didn't. So go to tools, test, play solo. So my mouse is blinking. That's um, my what we call it doing that recorder. And you're just going to test it out. So just go like that. Like that. And so as you can see, it works. And so just X out of here. Hit no. And now for me to show you how to make a simple building. So you're going to go to bricks. Pick, I recommend one of these. You could use any though.
and then you go to resize tool make this wall somewhat long add height to it mm. then you can just hit control C and control V which is copy and paste control C to copy control V to paste Now that we got that, control C, control V. And then control. Or actually the other way to do it is go up to copy and then paste. If you have trouble getting it in like I do, then just make this a lot smaller. Then try to move it into place. like that put it about halfway but not quite control C control V that was just to make sure that they're lined up right And I'm going to show you how to make a door that actually works. So to make a door that actually works, what you want to do is... Well, hang on, let me finish. Okay, what you want to do is insert a new brick. Actually, that ain't gonna work, so come over here and change that to one and hit enter. Don't know why it's still not working. Okay, it has to be that. Anyways. Run it one away from the wall like that. Then you're gonna come up here to hinge on surface. Click the top surface. Then you're gonna unclick it. Add another block. Drag it onto it. Resize it so that it's only as wide as that first brick. So you just do that. Make it come under to the wall and leave it one short of the wall. Not level. One short. And now what you're going to do is come to here, control C, 